art in museums. I am, I think I've said before, I'm a forest person. I'm from the forest. So my relationship with these things is not an intellectual relationship. It is simply, I feel, a very spiritual one. I feel everyone should have that, regardless of whether they are forest people or not. But too much has, has sort of, too many things have, uh, too many filters have appeared between what we look at, uh, how we experience, and how we experience what we look at. So often, um, I will go to a museum and I hear somebody saying something, or there's an exhibition in a museum and suddenly people have to go and see it. You say, why do you have to go and see it? Yeah, but you must go and see it. There's no explanation for why you need to see this thing. Anyway, you have this great thing in the Netherlands called a museum year card. That's a museum year card. And it allows you to go into almost any museum. You pay once, once a year, and you can just go in and out of museums. And I find, in terms of inspiration, there are certain museums, I mean, Van Gogh, for example, I always go there for a shot of, just to get the mind working again. But I like the different places. And throughout the years, I haven't just looked at the arts, and I'm not, I don't know anything, I just know what I like. I can't tell you, oh, this was done by, I can mention the artists, but I can't tell you what they were thinking, or anything like that. I just say, I like this, I like that. But... There is something that I have seen throughout the years, and it is a kind of um, gentleman, uh, late 50s, 60s onwards, well-dressed, uh, very neat, and sometimes alone, sometimes with a, uh, a flock of disciples. And it's the lean. They have this way of leaning. They put one hand behind their back, and then they lean in towards the painting. And I don't know what, what just catches me about this thing, but it, it really, um, it, it, I find it very unusual. I suppose it's sensible you put your arm behind to keep things out of the way. Um, I'm not sure what happens to the tie if they are wearing a tie, but it's that pose of leaning in. Uh, sometimes I see that pose and then, of course, my mind kicks in, as it always does. And there is something about that pose that says, I know art. I appreciate art more than uh, many, many others. Whether this is true or not, I have no idea. I just know these are people, there's a particular style. And it's a kind of gentleman who does it. So it's not every guy. There's, they really do. It's almost as if there's a special course you can follow to um, expressions of art. Uh, artistic appreciation or something like that so it shows you how to look you know you can do the little chin rub here but especially that lean that leaning in you know that leaning in which is really really funny or well, I find it really funny and so much so that I that I once there was a brief period when I did a bit of stand-up and I had a sketch of uh, sort of people leaning in, you know, you had a group of guys who, three or four, maybe four or five guys, and they don't know each other, but they are all appreciating the same painting. And of course they begin to have uh, this ego-driven contest about whose lean is more stylish, stylistic than the other. And I made a whole sketch about that. But um, they're still there. It's, it's, a, it's a particular pose. I don't know where it comes from. I don't know if it's outside of the Netherlands. I've only really noticed it in the Netherlands. Or if I'm abroad, I'm probably too busy with whatever to, to see it. But it, it's, and it's not just Dutch guys. It's just I've noticed it here, um, that kind of uh, art. Um, what did they used to call them? Is it culture vultures? That was a term from back in the eighties. Uh, you would be a culture vulture, which meant you loved culture. And this lean in, I find it quite amusing. I find I, I once, however, I must say, I'm just rambling here a bit. But I did, um, because of eyesight, I do have a magnifying glass. That, and once I went uh, to the Stedelijk Museum. No, it wasn't Stedelijk. It was Rijksmuseum. I've forgotten that what kind of prints there were. There were these tropical prints. And the magnifying glass really did help. 
And so I'm sitting here talking about those guys leaning in. I can imagine it that <laughs> had one of those guys been there, they were sort of like, oh my goodness, not a magnifying glass, you know, that you take a magnifying glass, you take this whole appreciation of art to a new level. So I suggest, uh, and it's actually good, you really do see details with a magnifying glass. I mean, really, you will see things that you can't see otherwise, especially if you're above 40 or so and your eyes are a bit wonky. So my advice on that one is don't lean, get a magnifying glass, it's much cooler, and um, yeah, do that.